welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about travel journals. I think they are my most favourite journal of all. We're going to be working in this one here today and I'll leave the link to um, this one down below how I made it. Um, I've done the Disney part, well I haven't finished it but I've been working on that and we've done like a little overnight stop in Atlanta. Today however in my journal I am going to be starting the road trip and that's something that I was going to talk to you about how to start a travel journal. It's a really overwhelming thing. It's such a large project. So I'm going to share with you today how I work on mine. I have got my big bag here. I wanted to show you this. I know I've shared this before, but just in case you're new to my channel, um, when we go on a trip, I take a bag with me. Um, these IKEA Ziploc bags are amazing. But I have got other bags, actually. Sometimes I pick them up along the way. For example, this one was a Disney stay and I used a Riviera gift bag, not a gift bag, shopping bag um, from when I was shopping for gifts. Uh, but the Ikea Ziploc bags are my favourite. And then as we go, I just put everything in there. We've got all the leaflets, um, any little booklets that we pick up. Um, I've got beer mats, coffee sleeves. Um, little business cards i collect everything napkins room key cards somebody said left a message though saying that you can be charged for room keys sometimes so maybe be aware of that uh, we tend to take two um, one each and then i tend to keep one of them but maybe is that not really the done thing then um i've got receipts Everything is in here, so when it comes to you creating your journal, you've got everything all in the one place already. It just makes life so much easier. The other thing I should do, I've got quite a collection of these, I should label them. I think that would be the next thing. So I'm going to now start work on this next leg. I am going to be using today, I've got my photos here as well. I'm really excited about this collection. This little bit is an ad gifted, this was sent to me by Paper Maze. Look at that. Isn't it fun? It's called Pack Your Bags. And um, I'll show you properly. That's what's inspiring this page today. I've got some really, really cool journaling bits as well. So I can't wait to get stuck into that. We're going to be doing a road trip starting in Georgia and ending up in North Carolina. So that's what we're going to be working on and journaling today. Um, right, I'm going to take the little charm of this one. I think what I really want to do with this video today is just help with the overwhelm, I'm not trying to open the wrong bit, of starting a new travel journal because it does feel really, really overwhelming. This is where I'm starting this next part of the trip. It feels like, although I've already started the journal, it feels a completely different journal, if you know what I mean, because it's such a different contrast to Disney. So these are the papers here. I'll just quickly show you these. Um, the Isn't it funny when you see something and it sparks a memory? This Let's Get Lost. We got lost and got stuck in a fic chile, um, fic chile, fic Chick-fil-A queue. We were trying to get to Starbucks and we ended up in Chick-fil-A queue and we couldn't get out and we had to queue and then go through the little payment thing and say to them, sorry, we're in the wrong queue, we want Starbucks. It was really funny. A didn't find it funny, he was the driver, but we're with two friends and myself and my girlfriend found it hilarious. Um, some of these, like the Hello to New Adventures will be really fun. Um, oh, I like that one. That one would be really nice with a photo. So something I like to do um, is choose my stash, my supplies, and then sort of get sparked by ideas. So I like the idea of popping a photo of the four of us in there. Love that paper. This is one of those where I'm always going to wish I had both sides. This one will be quite cool. What's on the other way? Oh, I think I chose it for this actually. I like that. I'll be cutting out, I think, lots of bits and pieces. Will, where to next? That's a good one. Ready for the next page. I like that one. Some of these I'm not so fussed with, but I think I chose it originally for that paper. Love the clouds. That's one I kind of want to keep for flying home actually, isn't it? Or for um, another one. We have got a trip to Germany coming up and I'm also thinking some of, oh, I love that. Some of these papers will be really, really good for that. Look at these to cut out and use as journal cards. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. 
I love these papers and then we've got the stickers which are really fun I love the simple stories 12 by 12 stickers and these are the journal cards there so I might actually have a little look and see which ones I'm going to use today I'm excited um I think simple stories is possibly my favorite scrapbooking company I really do oh that one's quite a nice one with the states and we could circle off where we were let's put that as a possibility um today's agenda I like that one here and there I like to just go through things and kind of like oh, notes and just place out what I think I will use and then obviously I don't have to use it all but it just helps excellent so I think I'm ready to go the other thing I'm going to do now see I like when I'm working on something I like having everything out in front of me the other thing I'm going to do now is go through my memorabilia bag and take out what I want to use there let's do that I've got my photos printed already I've used free prints for those so I have got my photos South Carolina, North Carolina, I've got some little ones. Oh, and I've got the Welcome to Georgia. I hadn't stuck that one in and I found that. So photos were sorted. And let's have a look through the memorabilia. I have got um, my Disney stuff in here as well, which obviously I don't need. Um, I haven't actually separated it out. That might be actually, if ever you're doing a big trip like this it's not a bad idea to um separate it out actually i think that is a good idea i think in future i'll do this oh i've even got a pen here let's take that out these are some places that we went to have i i must have some things because i picked out so many leaflets i did leave some behind at our friend's house because they you end up picking them up but they do weigh quite a lot Blowing Rock was somewhere we visited. That was breakfast. Right, so we've got Discover South Carolina and I've got a North Carolina map. So just a quick couple of minutes going through these and I've already got my bits and pieces. Do you know what I would love to find? I would love to find my receipt bag. I've kept those separate and find the receipt for our Starbucks to go with my story about Chick-fil-A. It just makes me laugh every time. Let's sort this out. I'm going to use this map. It's not actually a map of where we went, but it has got North Carolina on there. So I am going to use that. And I've got a spare one because Blowing Rock is on the back where we did go. Uh, but I, yeah, I have got a couple. Sometimes it's really handy to pick up a couple actually. So I quite fancy using this. Um, there, I really like this paper, but I really want to use this paper here. Um, I was just wondering whether to make a pocket there. Oh, and I've also got the South Carolina map as well. Um, I've got quite a lot going on this page. I think I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm just going to... Tear some of this and be brave. I think that's a good word to use when you're starting a journal is just be brave. Let's move those out of the way. I like that. I really love the paper here. So I don't want to cover up all of that. And again, just being brave and cutting some of it down or tearing some of it down. That I think is good. Let's go with that and stick that in place. I described doing this kind of thing the other day as almost like doing a jigsaw puzzle, just piecing it all together. And another one of my tips, and I always say this, just remember it's only paper. Don't get het up too much about things and let it ruin your time that you've taken away from 
like precious family time or you're having some time away from work or you're just having a little bit of me time as in you time um, so don't get let it stress you or anything like that because it is supposed to be your relaxation time right so now we are going to do exactly the same on this one remember the word brave we are going to be brave it's only paper not the end of the world and that's why we pick up two maps <laughs> so that we can be brave there we go this is fun I might even leave those little bits dangling over I like that could well be it ends up getting covered up anyway. That's the other thing. Sometimes you can get so het up with making everything perfect. And then by the time you finish, the stuff you were stressing about, you can't actually see anyway because you've covered them up with other things. Place here is called the peddling pig. I like that. Oh, there's a Goodwill store as well. We like a Goodwill store, don't we? Yeah move these little bits out of the way the other thing I like to do as well is try and keep a tidy desk as well um, right that's good we've got photos going here I like this a lot so I'm going to trim this down and then I'm going to now work I think on my little pulley out bits that are going to appear in here or should I do yeah, I like the idea of making some of the little cards. Um, I really liked this one here, didn't I? The here we go. Let's cut out, actually. I'm going to go back on what I said, and I'm having a think now about my stories. I've got quite a few stories to tell. I want to tell the story of us picking Lisa and Ian up. I may well actually add a few more other photos. Um, we want the Let's Get Lost. I might plug my selfie printer in and print a few more. We picked them up from the airport. We were already in the country. They were joining us. And we had a night on the road. Let's see what we've got here. Um... I like the here and there, that one's a good one, that one could be one to go in the photos. And then we left the following morning, we did go out for a really nice meal on the night that they arrived. We went to Outback which was by our road trip hotel. The other thing actually, let's take this one here because you don't always have to use the papers as they are so I'm going to show you what I mean with this one what's on the back perfect I love it as well when it's you can just cut them and they look pretty on the back so we'll do that one um this one oh actually the go see do is a nice one and that also matches that one I just want to make sure that I've got lots and lots of space the little stories this one might be a good one as well so we'll take that one giving us lots of options there we go so the one with the car now when I say you don't have to worry too much the taxi we didn't take a taxi but I'm just wondering if actually there's something on here that we could use instead so I've got a car here with luggage can I get away Yes, I can, with using that instead. See, perfect. And then actually, let's have a look and see. We've got Let's Get Away Travel Buddies. Now, Travel Buddies would be a good one to go there. So I think I'm going to use that one. Um, time to travel, things to see, places to go. I want a colour as well that's going to contrast with that one. Let's do places to go. 
that's worked out so perfectly I love that and I might add some others afterwards really really happy with that one and then I think we will have the that one there and I would really oh I like both sides I'd really like to use some of the clouds so I want to tear it this side actually let's get a nice thin strip I don't want to go near the aircraft because I want to use that another time. I wanted the white part that's torn and I want to attach that like that. And actually that would make a nice pocket there as well. I find when I'm making travel journals it's all about giving myself as many possibilities as I can. So I make a lot of pockets, a lot of flips, um, a lot of places for hidden journaling and for attaching memorabilia, but I don't always use them. Quite often I might make a pocket, but I'm not actually using it as a pocket. But the opportunity is there if I need it. So if I want to come back and I've found some more photos or I've got an extra bit of memorabilia, I can add it. I'd rather have a little bit of space. At the end of the day, if this is stuck there and it's not being used as a pocket, it doesn't look odd. It looks exactly the same. Um, so I would rather give myself the pockets and the extra space. It's a little bit like having storage, isn't it, in some ways. Um, you want as much storage at home as possible. You might not fill every single space in your house, but it's nice knowing it's there if you need it. And I find exactly the same when I'm working in a journal. I'd rather have that storage and not use it than the other way around. There, that is so cute. So then I wanted the picture of the four of us. There we go. That is cute. Let's grab my stapler. There. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? And then there was that sticker, wasn't there? Travel buddies. Well, there we go. And then I've got space for journaling on the back. I may well stick something on there. That is so sweet. I love that. And I am thinking about folding this here. Let's see if I can add this as well. I would much, always much rather tear something than cut it if I can. I just love that torn look. Is this going to work? I think it is. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I love that a lot. Let's do that. It's just fun. This paper collection is so cool. And you can use it for anything, can't you? It doesn't have to be a road trip. Obviously, you can use it for anything like this. I love that. That is so cool. Um, I might even do another one down the bottom or we could have that as a flip that could look look really good as well or uh, let's just remember I was wanting to include these I'm going to pop some tape on these actually just so I don't forget I'm really bad at that I have an idea and then I forget and I end up putting something else in its place so we want these here. so I'm just going to pop them here for now just so I have a reminder and this one like that cool it's working out really well so we've got the let's get lost that one has a story and this one has a story I might actually pop that one over here on the back Let's just put that like that for now this could work really well I like that and then the let's get lost 
could go up here. I think we want some more clouds. Actually, this will fit perfectly. Let's just tear that. Just so that it all ties in. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. I didn't actually check what was on the reverse just to make sure. There's that where to next. Oh, let's cut that one out. I wanted that one, didn't I? That was really silly of me. I was just saying as well, make sure you check. Right, I'm not as fussed with these ones at the top. So let's just tear these. There's just so much to think about. I've done a really bad job of this one. I should have torn it the other way. But this actually should still work out okay. Excellent, yes it will. Yeah, I'm happy with that, really happy. And what we are going to do with this one, we're gonna do this one a little bit different. And I am just going to, we're gonna turn it into a bit more of like a belly band. Add the tape either side, because that also then gives us the opportunity to slide some extra bits in there. I think I will get my selfie printer out and print off a few more photos because we took so many along the way so it would be a shame not to include them then we can easily add things there I don't want to cover up the North Carolina but actually that goes really well there doesn't it I was just checking these cards these will go in nicely I'm happy with that that's so fun I've got some other bits and pieces here as well. Oh, I like the idea of that one. Let's pop that one down there. These are really fun to add journaling. Like that. I've got the notes. Uh, I might actually pop that one down there. And I think I'll go that one up there with the staples. Those colours go really well. And I quite like that one over on this side as well. I'm also going to include a picture of Debbie. When we arrived, Debbie had made us an amazing brunch. They are such really, really good hosts some stickers here as well I wonder if there's a little heart there we go I love sticking stickers on photos I think that's really fun to do I am quite chuffed with this I did want to we've got today's agenda I might actually pop that on the top there and I'm going to get my tab top punch out as well and create some tabs for those two. I am going to do one for here. And one for this one. I think this has to be one of my favorite punches. I use it loads. And I find it easier just to staple. There we go. And this side as well. And then I think we'll add some stickers to the tops of these. These are working out so fun. They're just so easy, aren't they? 
that is perfect I could trim that down if I wanted to but I quite like it sticking out um, what um, stickers shall we put on here and there they need to contrast and also not be too big let's have a smiles and that one matches the other one as well cool I think I'm going to do the same with this one actually stick this one on uh, maybe cover up that passport I think I might do that because we don't need the passport got a globe there as well that's what I like using the photos for, just sort of embellishing. Perfect. I'm really liking all these happy colours as well. Love that. Just add a few stickers here and there. The other thing we can do, we've got this little card here. I am going to pop this little tab on top and one on the other try and match them up as closely as possible there we go so we've got a little tab top there that looks really nice just add a few little stickers around oh you know how i said how i love sticking stickers on photos there i'm going to add a few of those the on our way on this one right I am now oh I've got a little photo here this was from the story about it was this one let's get lost I need the story on there so actually I might pop this one on here like that I am going to take this piece here I think this will match well and pop this under here this is going to come up never be afraid to change your mind as well I find with these types of journals there's a lot going on Sometimes it's easy to forget a story or mean to add a photo and you forget. And then we can pop that there. I like how that all overlaps as well. Makes it almost, it's not interactive, but makes it feel that way. Pop that there. Yeah, that looks really cool. And then we've still got that there as well. I like that. I think I'm all ready to start journaling. So my journaling's done I may probably end up adding some extra photos but I'm not going to do that right now I'm really pleased with how this has turned out I've added extra tape just to secure that but I have got spaces where I can add extra photos I could even slide them under here but um yeah so we've got travel buddies and we've got the story there love this little pocket here that's worked out really well um and I just love all the little interactive bits I think that works really well as well We've got the story of getting lost in the Chick-fil-A queue. We've got the story of using the restrooms. Again, I can add a photo there. I think I probably will go back and add some more. Um, I'm in the middle of doing a free prints order at the moment, so that could work out really well. And we've got that little bit there. Again, I could always add a photo. We've got the bit with our new mug. I'm really pleased. And then... I've just written that it was a four hour drive, 231 miles, and Debbie and Jess greeted us with a lovely brunch. There, that is a really nice start to that part of my travel journal, the next chapter. Really pleased with how that's come together. It's come together really quick and easy. It is a really daunting thing sometimes, starting such a large project. Break it down, don't overthink. Get your supplies together first, think about your photos break it all down and do it in stages it makes it so much easier i hope that's it. this has encouraged you and maybe helped you with your journals today let me know if it has and please do share any tips if you have some too i'd love to hear thank you very much i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye